that, ladies and gentlemen. He's got one of those. Guess the car. Yes, it well, is a Tesla. It's currently driving itself. The acceleration on this thing is so sudden. <laughs> well, wait for it later. So uh, part of the reason I'm not putting my foot down is a, it's raining, uh, and to get. No, I mean, I mean, you just increased your speed by what, 10, 15 miles? Yeah. And oh my God! <laughs> wow! <What? laughs> so that's nothing. Oh. So okay, you ready? Right. Oh my. Jesus, Mary! Oh! <laughs> Holy mother of God! It's like being hit in the back! Wow, can you ever get used to this? Uh, no, it's quite a lot of fun always. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if, uh, if you Hold go... on a second. This car knows where the other cars are. Can you see? <laughs> This car tells you where the other buggers on the road are. Yeah. It's un sorry, I, I do apologize. Yeah. I'm going to do a lot of that today. <laughs> Salutare dragi români și urmăritori ai podcastului Escu Show. Sunt în mașină la o plimbărică, așa. Cum cum mai ies eu duminica dimineața când n-are ce face pe acasă. Bine ați venit la un nou episod al podcastului pe care îl realizez de aici din sud-vestul Angliei din comitatul Devon. Uh, îmi cer scuze că nu mă uit tot timpul la cameră, dar sunt în mașină și încerc să țin camera asta cât mai drept. Nu știu unde mergem, dar suntem cu Tom, el este inginer, este britanic și se ocupă cu uh, soluții alternative pentru energie. Ceea ce înseamnă că este omul viitorului sau uh, the man for the future. Și o să încep să vorbesc în engleză pentru că el nu înțelege limba română. Am făcut doar o mică introducere așa ca să... Să înțelegeți și voi despre ce este vorba. Deci suntem în mașină, purtăm mască și ne îndreptăm spre un loc unde putem să facem niște teste de accelerație și după aia o să stăm de vorbă cu Tom despre mai multe chestii, da? Ok, let's say hello to Tom. Hi Tom! Hello! <laughs> How you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Oh, amazing, thank you. Thanks for the, thanks for the ride. You're very welcome. Right. Um, I, was, I was telling the viewers mm -hmm. about you being an engineer mm -hmm. and... Well, I, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't describe myself as an engineer. Well, how can I describe you then? Well, I... I... Apart from man from the future. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> that or made for me the smile. future. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, professionally, I design solar energy systems. Right. And, uh, and install them too. As in solar energy systems, as in what? As in solar photovoltaics. So solar panels. Okay, like solar panels. Then. Yeah. Okay. Um, you design them. You don't install them. I, I do install them, and I design the systems. I don't design the panel. So I okay. design the systems. Right, right, right. So as I, in, I, as in the cables and stuff, like, and where yeah, everything exa goes. Exactly. Okay. Uh, and um, I do that for residential and commercial jobs. Okay. And okay. I, I do that freelance. I understand. Um, So anyway, back to why we've got Tesla. Well, it turned out that we uh, got some money unexpectedly, and we also felt like let's let's do this now rather than wait. Okay. And really, this was the most compelling vehicle on the market at the time, uh -huh. uh, and, and that's predominantly to do with me being six foot five. I understand. So basically, because you're a tall chap, yeah. this was the car. I need That a big car. You, yeah, yeah and, and to get the kids behind me has always been a problem. Right, so you got this Model S, which is a, P, a Model S P90. P90D. D. Yes. Yes. Which means what? It means so, so that it's got the lud ludicrous mode? It doesn't, it, it, so to, for, the, for your car to have a ludicrous mode, you need a underline underneath the P90D. That's tell, that tells okay. you that that's got ludicrous mode. Right. This doesn't have ludicrous so this mode. This has just the crazy. This has, in, this has insane mode. This has insane mode? Yeah, and I'll show you that. Uh, <laughs> where is it? Um, driving. So it's got chill, sport, insane, and insane plus. Oh, uh, and you've got the insane plus then? Yes. So the Do you have to ring Tesla? Do you have to ring Elon Musk? I say, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Musk, can you please um, install the Insane Plus? I want to go nuts for about two, <laughs> two hours here. Well, so uh, just before we bought this car, it didn't have Insane Plus mode. Right, right. And, uh, uh, and Tesla have over-the-air updates. 
so they can um, update your software frequently, which they often do. So um, basically the same car, you don't have to go to Tesla, no, no. they do it remotely, right? Yeah, that happens okay. when you're at home and your car's connected to your Wi-Fi and they'll update the car from a various ways and it basically means that although this car's hardware is five years old and you can update that too but clearly it costs quite a bit of money to do yeah the software but, is basically but, up to yeah today so, uh, today i mean it's it's limited about how how much they can update it because you need some hardware um in order to get some software features yeah if you see what i mean yeah yeah so we don't have all the hardware that can deal with all the new software necessarily but it does still um bring your car up to date which is part of the reason why Tesla hold their value so well. So there were several things we wanted from the car which was suspension, um, ride height. Adjustability uh, in terms of ride height, yeah. Yeah, and we also wanted it to be four wheel drive. Which is so the, this is four wheel drive as well? Yeah, the, which is the D part of the P90D. Oh wow. It means dual motor. So there's a motor on the front and there's a motor on the back. That's cool. Yeah. That's really, really cool. And then the Can P I ask you how much you paid for this? Yeah, of course. Uh, 46. Forty-six thousand pounds. Yeah, it's quite a lot of money. It's a lot of money, but yeah. it's it's a lot less than I was expecting you to say. Well, so when I was expecting you to go sixty. Yeah. So when this was over fifty grand anyway. When this was new, I, I've got the receipt from the original owner. He's or he or she spent one hundred and ten thousand on it. One hundred and ten thousand pounds, and you got it for forty-six. Yes. So and that's that, not a bad deal, whichever uh, way you look at it. It isn't. And then when I, when I checked six months ago to see it's worth again looking on auto trader comparing similar ages with similar miles yeah it actually gone up to forty seven thousand. <laughs> so, uh, I found so there you go ladies and gentlemen <laughs> if you want to make money on a car buy a well, tesla don't bother it's not it's still, it's still not a, it's still not a good investment because now it's come down again you know it, I, it I, never I, is cars never are no 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 and and I, I last time i checked which was about a month ago or so now um it was i think 41. So you got it second hand? I did get it second hand, yeah. How did you manage to actually get your hands on a second hand Tesla? Looked on Auto Trader. Really? Yeah. Just looked online like yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't have to ring any special dealers or any. There were some around and we looked at them, but actually, um, so there are two that I'm aware of, no, three electric vehicle dealers that I'm aware of. Um, okay. And they specialize in EVs and we would have preferred to have got it from them. Uh, because they know what they're talking about, they, you, you, you're pretty guaranteed to get yourself a decent car. Okay. Um, but actually, they didn't quite have what we were looking for. Uh huh. Um, because we wanted the uh, air suspension because of the um, uh, ride heights that you can choose. Okay. Because we drive this down to Italy. There you go. I wow. I don't have any feet on the pedals uh, either. Really? Yeah. No, no feet on the pedals. So it will just track his speed. So I'm not controlling the speed. It will just follow the car in front. It will so follow it the lines. Accelerates, yeah, according to the guy in front. Yeah, and it will okay. follow the lines so it's steering itself as well. <laughs> and in a minute, you will see a message flash up saying, uh, "Apply a slight turning force to the steering wheel." And if I ignore that, it will turn. I've never done it, but the whole screen will start flashing red. And, uh, and and if I ignore that, it will put itself over and turn the hazards on. You joke. And then it will ban you from using the system for. I, I believe I don't. I, this is uh, <laughs> anecdotal. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it will ban you from using the system for a few days until you do a better job. Wow. Yeah. Occasionally, it will um, lose where the lines are, or lose where the car in front is, and you do have to take over, and you need to right. be ready for that. Okay. Um, and hence why you should be holding the steering wheel because it can go wrong and I wouldn't say it frequently does but it has gone wrong with me driving it okay. but it, it's a minor issue because you just go there we go I've got control so now I've got control because I've just tapped the brake uh, so if, anyways if, if I had full regen right it, it means the battery is nice and warm uh -huh. Whereas right now it's a bit it's, rainy outside so yeah. the battery is a bit cold and when the battery is a bit cold you don't have all the power available. I understand. Um, uh, well, yeah, it is. So it, af after we go and charge it, that will warm up the battery nicely. In fact, I'm going to tell the car to pre-warm by selecting the supercharger. And then by selecting uh, our local supercharger, 
it will uh, preheat the battery okay. in, in order to uh, um, charge more efficiently. I understand. Again, if you've got a warm battery whilst charging, it will do a better job at charging. If the uh -huh. battery's cold when you plug it in, it will slow the charge right down in order to protect the battery. So this car is basically thought for long-term use uh, and for, for long, long drives, because you said something about going to Italy. Right. Tell me more about that. I mean, how, how do you even begin to think, do you know what, I've got an electric car, yeah, yeah, a trip to Italy sounds good. Yeah. Really? <laughs> well, so... People I, usually buy diesel cars for that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I forgot to mention, actually, the reason why we were um, looking at electric cars is just before we decided to buy an electric car, we went on holiday to Malta and we flew. And we had a great time. Malta's a lovely place. I highly recommend it. It's beautiful. Yes. But whilst, whilst we were there, we were just talking and going, why are we still flying? You know, we, we don't think that flying is a good idea mm. from, a, a, from a climate perspective. Um, there's lots of evidence to suggest that it isn't. And we were just looking at ourselves. Well, going, not, well, well, sorry to interrupt. Go I, on. I don't think the flying is, is, is the problem. Flying is fine. The problem is the type, the, the, the type of the planes that exist. I mean, they need to be electric, really. Yeah, that's a really difficult so, problem to solve, though. But it uh, has been, but it has been looked at. Yeah, and, 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 I and think they're starting to. And I, and I, th and I think short hauls, you know, national flights or intern flights, whatever you call them, they, they, they can be done with, with um, electric motors. It, the, the Plus, the potential's there, but we're still I, some I'm way sure off. you know about the hydrogen plane. I, I've seen. You, it you've reported, seen. Yeah. You've, you've seen. You've seen the reports. Yeah. I mean, it's only what two, three weeks old, something like that. I thought so, it was. Yeah. Just, I, I didn't think they'd even prototyped it yet, though. Had they, they have, and they, they flew, have. and they, a, and they had a. Um, I think it was a three thousand foot right. altitude flight. Okay. For about eight minutes. Okay. This with is news to me. One now, gallon. Wow. One gallon of, of hydrogen. Wow. And, uh, and we realised that really we didn't want to be a part of it anymore. So we've, we've pledged not to fly again until there's improvement in technology. And at the same time, we also decided to buy an electric car. So we, we felt like we needed a vehicle that could do that. And arguably, although things are changing, uh, Tesla is still the only one really that you can plan for if you're planning to drive across Europe. And that's and not just the range, that's the comfort as well, I mean... Uh, I, w well, I, it's it's the range slightly, and yeah, comfort, okay, I would say there are more comfortable cars than this. It's not the most comfortable car I've ever sat in. Um, but... Uh, well, this is nearly three tonnes, isn't it? This is... Uh, it's 2.6, I think. So that's 2,600 so kilos of metal and battery. Oh, crap. That's... That's a lot of car, that's a lot of weight. Yes. I mean, my car's, what, 1.9 right. tons? Uh, yeah. And it's a seven-seater. This is, this, is, <laughs> this is a heavy car. So this but, is a heavy the, car, the and it's a long, long car. You had it's a, big, yeah, and you, wide, you had a, yeah, you, and very you, wide. <laughs> you, had a, you had a lot of trouble uh, trying to reverse um, yeah. up the, the road I live. So yeah, I, I, I saw you struggling, and I, yeah. I, I thought, okay. So we, we had a Volvo SUV before this, Mm -hmm. The XC90. Oh, this is definitely longer. Then. This is longer and wider. And wider. And wider. There you go. And 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 actually, because of that, it's not ideal for the UK. Uh, in in a in urban and mo motorway driving, it's fine. But if you're in the Devon lanes, oh, it gets tight. Yeah. It can be quite difficult sometimes yeah. in this. Yeah. That's why the Model Three makes quite a lot of sense over here. Just, but uh, it doesn't. I don't fit it, so I'm not sure we'll get the Model Three. So anyways, uh, you pledged not to fly, Yes. Uh, you like holidaying abroad, abroad right. and uh, you needed the comfort and the range and you thought, right, and, this is... And, and this is the biggest point, and ah. the, ch the charging network. The charging, okay. Because you, you, you need the, the of charging course, network. Yes, yes, of and, course, and, and, you have to think of that first. And Tesla um, put a lot of money into creating their own, which and we're going to drive to one now, and it's all across Europe. I was hoping this might turn red and then I can show you the acceleration. But, um, uh, to, to get the, the, the most uh, exciting feeling, you want to do it from standstill because it's that first few feet which is just ridiculous. Because the traction on this thing is incredible and the torque on this thing is incredible and it's just continuous acceleration as well. There's no gear changes or anything um, and uh, you just get 
My uh, kidneys incredible are somewhere in the boot at the moment, so I don't know how much brutal than that can be. Like I said, some of my internal organs are probably in the back seat now, right now. <laughs> wow. So yeah, did you have you ever, ever been to Italy in this car? Yes. How, we did how it, long did it take? Uh, so we, we did it slowly because we've got kids and we, we took two kids in the car as well. So we, we took, uh, I think, five days to drive down. Five days just to get there? Yeah, but if it was just me and my wife, we would have done it in one go. And that would have taken, in a, in a diesel car, because we used to do it all the time before we had kids as well, uh -huh. uh, it would take 24 hours. So just, Italy, it so basically Italy is a, is, is a regular destination for, for you yeah. as a family, right? Yeah. And um, you could do it in, I, was it 24 Have you got or a 20? property there or you're renting? Uh, my wife's got a property there, she inherited it. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so First of all, are you rich or you made your money? <laughs> I'm not rich, no. Right, so here you are, ladies and gentlemen. You don't have to be rich. Tom Jones was right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I do apologise. I don't want to be nosy. I basically want to highlight the fact that if you want to do it, if you work hard, if you put your mind to it, if you really uh, persevere, right, you can do it. Yeah. This is what I want to highlight. No, I... There you go. Go over there, look, that's where we're going. Right, so this is where, this is where posh people come to charge their cars, yeah? <laughs> yeah. For free. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I would say that there's an electric car out there for everyone. These things are expensive. Um, but, and if there isn't one quite yet, there will be soon. And the things that are coming are incredible. Uh, so I'm really excited for the future. And, right, uh, so I, uh, and my wife and I are starting a, an electric vehicle consultancy. The, the P stands for performance. Okay. So this is the performance model. Right. The 90 stands for 90 kilowatt hour, which is the size of the battery, or the capacity of the battery, let's which say. Which is quite big. Yes. Yeah, oh, it's huge. <laughs> which is quite big. Yeah, it's, it's pretty big. So there is one step above this, there's 100. Uh -huh. um, although now that they just call it um, long range or standard range. So uh -huh. they, they don't release the capacity so much. But um, yeah, this is performance, 90 kilowatt hour dual wheel, dual, dual motor, P90D. Right, right, right. Do you want to pop out and see how this works? I do, yes, of course I do, yes. Let me just find a way of doing this without catching anything and bumping into anything. Right. This is how the dual looks like. This is what I have to do. I have to do this. This is very simple. This design is extraordinarily simple. Bine, până dai la tableta asta din neam. <laughs> da, deci cam atâta este din mare tableta. Ca să vedeți care e treaba. Da. Hai să mergem să vedem cum se încarcă mașina asta. Could I borrow some sanitizer, Constantine? Thank you. Sure. Sorry. You can. Thank you. There you go. We're sanitizing. <laughs> Right, so this is this is what you do. This is what you do. Chestile astea de aici, mânerile astea, da? Astea se bagă înăuntru, dintr-un buton de acolo. Hai să închid ușa, ca să nu supăr omul. Aha, ok. So what you do... Oh. I don't know if you want to capture this or not, but uh, you just uh, push that button. Right, we should right, do. okay. Oh, this one's not working. Hold up. Oh, has it done it? Yes. There we go. So basically it's got a sensor in it. Yep. And the car. And then you plug it in. Simple as that. And there you go. Simple as that. Except this one's not going. Right, okay. So this is the Model S. And this is the P90D, and it's red, yay! Like the TDI. Do you know if this one works? <laughs> Sorry? Do you know if this one works? Oh yeah, there it is. Sometimes they hang on blue. Yeah, right. I am connected. I know, I know uh, one of these has been down for a while. So Stati vă aici, cum arată o roată de 21 de inci. Da. Băi, e o chestie interesantă până la 
momentul în care ajungi la range. Câtă distanță poți să, poți să faci cu, cu mașina asta. O să ajungem și la bucata aia, într-un uh, minut sau două. Cauciucuri dintre astea este nevoie și o să întreb să văd dacă nu cumva cauciucurile astea trebuie să fie special pentru mașina asta. O să fiu atent să nu dau peste altă mașină. Dar arată absolut superb. 